Dan Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Hey, I've got a really, really, really cool guitar for you today. When I walked into the shop where I buy a lot of guitars, I saw this, I go, what is that? I don't think I'd ever seen one before. Well, it turns out it's a 1980 Gibson S1. Now they made the S1s from 1974 through early 1980. So uh, being a 1980, it's gotta be one of the last ones that they made. Uh, it's got a really cool mahogany body. Uh, it's got a maple neck on it that's a bolt-on neck, which uh, is different for, uh, for Gibson. I think they're probably, with the three pickups, trying to do a Stratish kind of thing. Uh, Bill Lawrence had showed up uh, there at, uh, at Gibson, and so he was doing some, some things with some pickups and some design things. And this was one of the ones that came out of that. Uh, he did design these pickups. These are some single-coil pickups that somehow they work in conjunction to make uh, some hard, uh, make them more of a uh, humbucker as opposed to a single coil. We'll go through that here in a minute. And to be honest, I haven't quite figured out exactly what they do, but we have lots of sounds that we can get out of this guitar. Before we start playing it, let's talk about everything on it. Uh, everything is absolutely original, including the case, which we'll get to in just a minute. But it's got this really pretty uh, a pick guard on it that's it's very nicely designed, very un-Gibson like. Uh, and uh, so it was just kind of unusual for them, but it's got the original knobs. Uh, this pointer knob is original. The the uh, uh, this switch tip on here is original. It's got the harmonica bridge, which uh, uh, showed up on the 70s uh, Les Pauls and some of their other guitars, and I think they look really cool. They're kind of big and beefy looking. I think they just give the guitar a little more of a substantial look and feel to me. Uh, of course, the, the standard uh, tailpiece, uh, but then they use these really cool, uh, the other thing I loved about it were these tuners. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm into tuners, okay? Uh, but anyway, it's, it, they're Gibson tuners. They are Mark Gibson on them. They've got a little design on them. And uh, they are uh, um, got the little tulip ends on them. And they are nickel. Uh, they're not chrome. So they're, again, very, very heavy duty. And uh, this neck, gosh, this neck is just so nice. Uh, and of course, it's got a serial number and made in USA on it, so we're able to uh, to date it to 1980. Strap buttons, uh, everything else uh, original. The uh, frets on it, it's got these great big jumbo frets, which you guys that like to bend are going to love these frets on here. And a couple cool things uh, that, that I noted with this was one uh, was it has a fret marker in the first uh, position, which uh, we had another guitar uh, last month that we did. It had a, a, a fret marker there as well that was a Gibson, and it was just something that they did back in the 70s on a couple of models, and I thought it was kind of cool. But the other thing was that, uh, that we made note of was the maple neck on this one. Now, uh, most of these had rosewood necks on them. Uh, this one had maple, uh, which gives it, again, a very distinctive look. Uh, even if you're used to seeing S1s, you don't usually see maple boards on them. Uh, they're just uh, uh, kind of unusual in that, in that fact. Uh, most of them you see are rosewood, and I don't know if they were ordered that way or if they just made a few of them. Whatever, this one has a maple board on it, which is very, very neat looking with this mahogany body. Uh, uh, it weighs eight pounds, so it's not a, a heavy, heavy, less polished kind of guitar that back in the 70s it would have weighed like, you know, 12 pounds. So it's going to be a lot less than your standard Les Paul. It's got a standard uh, Gibson 24 and a half inch scale neck, and the nut is one and five eighths inch. Chiz. So uh, it's going to feel really good in your hand. And for me, I just, I love it. It's just a great guitar to play. Now they've got this little uh, thing here that has four different settings that take you through these pickups and in different combinations with them. And then it's also got this switch. And I, like I said, I'm just I'm just not exactly sure what's going on. But when you throw the switch in that position, it almost becomes even more single coilish. So I'm wondering if maybe it's combining with some of these other pickups in this pickup. Uh, in this position. So it could be the front and the middle maybe, and then it just is all by itself. So then we go to this position, and it's like the middle position on your Strat. It's a little out of phase, and then again, a different sound. This is only a two-way throw, down and up. Then we go to this next position, and that's very front and middle sounding like your Strat. Even more 
about a face. And I think this one, as I recall, is all three pickups together. Well, that's a cool sound. It's got some really, really cool sounds. And I'll tell you what, the guitar is absolutely beautiful. Uh, you know, no real bad dings or bangs or anything like that at all on it. Uh, it's got a few things, marks on the neck, uh, as I recall. Can't even see them now, but uh, um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful guitar. Very substantial feeling, cool sounds. And we have the original case. Uh, as we all know, the chainsaw cases back in the 70s uh, were very, very cool. And this one is in immaculate shape. Uh, a lot of these chainsaw cases, the reason I don't particularly like them is because usually the interiors are just toast. Um, this one is not. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the plush is still extra plushy. Uh, your latches, uh, which sometimes these latches, I think they got better the, the longer they made these chainsaw cases. Some of the early ones, the, the latches just broke. Uh, this the latches work perfectly. It's got your uh, accessory box lid is on here uh, And it says Gibson on it. It says Gibson on the front So there's no doubt about this uh, case that it goes with that guitar So you know what? It's a really cool outfit You get this really cool 1980 Gibson s1 and you get this really cool original uh, chainsaw case from Gibson uh, very rare guitar, you know, they just didn't make a lot of them and you know if you get your Les Pauls You're looking for something different. This might fill the bill uh, Bill Lawrence designed pickups I mean, you know, that's that's pretty cool in itself. So hey, I appreciate you watching my demo today and uh, Once you go to www.lawmanguitars.com and check out some of our other guitars But as long as you're there in my YouTube page once you hit subscribe You could be one of my subscribers, which means every week you're gonna see a new cool guitar from Lawman so uh, hit that button if you'd like to see more cool guitars, and I'll see to it that you see them. So thanks a lot for watching my demos. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all. Thank you.